Non-farm payroll dates are dates in a year when the US economy data is published that contains non-farm payrolls. The non-farm payrolls are published each month on a specific date, which is usually first Friday in a month. Non-farm payroll dates are always on the first Friday of every month with the results for the previous month. The NFP dates for this year are in this table, where you can see which one is next based on the current date. At the time of recording this video, the next non-farm payroll is scheduled on April 1st, 2022 year, on Friday. That is visible also on the, on the table, where the previous result was 678,000. The next non-farm payroll report always shows predictions of what you could expect as a result. It is an expectation based on the other data released in the last month. Here you can see non-farm payroll change where you can see actual NFP numbers, forecast and previous NFP numbers. This means you can see what market analysts predict what could be actual result. This is how this looks here on the Forex Factory calendar. You do not have actual results because the NFP report is not published. And when the report is published, you can see actual status, forecast and previous. If you click on the graph, you can see results of current and previous reports. Now let's talk about non-farm payroll report release time. Release time is always on first Friday of the month at 8.30 morning east time. It is 12.30 at the GMT London winter time and it is 21.30 pm GMT plus 9 Tokyo time. The NFP release time depends on the time zone of each country, so for example London NFP release time will change in winter and summer time. If you live in South Africa, the non-farm payroll for the US market will be visible at GMT plus 2, that is 14.30 GMT plus 2, it is South, South Africa time. Wherever you live, you can adapt to be present when the NFP release time is active. If you do not want to wait for the NFP live release, then you can check later when the markets calm down. Let's talk about the GMT time. GMT time represents the Greenwich Mean Time that is different compared to East Time when the NFP is published. GMT time is around 4 hours earlier than East because the non-farm payroll on East is published at 8.30 am and at 12.30 pm GMT. GMT has two different times and that is winter and summer time. This is called daylight saving time or DST which is EU summer time. In the European Union summer time GMT will be forwarded one hour so the non-farm payroll time will be 5 hours earlier, that will be at 13.30 pm GMT London time. Daylight saving time happens on the last Saturday in March, when the hour is forwarded 1 hour forward, and last Saturday in October, when 1 hour is returned back. If you are in the UK, then you will have two non-farm payrolls, and the first one is winter time and second one is summer time. The UK is in the European Union, so there is daylight saving time where non-farm payroll is published 4 or 5 hours earlier than in the US. Here are those two times. Winter time is at 12.30 pm and the second one is summer time at 13.30 pm. Anyway, NFP in the UK or Europe is in the middle of the day, so there should be no issues being prepared for the NFP news. Compared to Tokyo, when the NFP time is GMT plus 9 hours, which is around 21.30 pm, which is quite late. The NFP day is the first Friday in the month when the non-farm payrolls are published. NFP day is the day when the whole market is waiting for the results because of the impact on the markets. When the NFP time comes, you can be sure that the market will react a lot and the price of currency pairs will fluctuate. On the day when the non-farm payrolls will be published, the market starts to slow down in the morning, UK time preparing for the news. So if you check around 1 or 2 hours before NFP, the forex market starts to slow down waiting for the data. This is visible on the chart here where you can see that candles before non-farm payroll release are small. And after the NFP data is released, the market starts to react.
The reaction sometimes starts several minutes before the news is published because of the human reaction quality impatience. Sometimes a stronger reaction is an hour later, but if the NFP data is strong, then you can be sure to see a strong reaction. Forex traders predict what non-farm payrolls data will be published, so they open or close the trades, which have an impact on the market status. You can see a chart here where large candles, several times larger than candles before NFP release, shows market reaction to non-farm payrolls result. If you watch market price right on the non-farm payrolls published, you will see how the price fluctuates fast because of the market uncertainty and then suddenly breaks in some direction. I suggest you prepare a trading platform and watch the lower time frame when the NFP is published to see how the market reacts. Now, when you know that non-farm payrolls are published on Friday, here is one more thing about to know. And that is Friday. The NFP data is published on Friday, the day when the market is slowing down because of the weekend. And Friday is the day when the traders get out to lock the profits or to await some market news over the weekend. That could make a gap when the markets open. Here on the chart you can see the price gap, where the price at the end of a week is not the same as the Monday open price. That gap for some can be futile and bring large losses, and for some can bring large profits. So when the market should slow down, the NFP data is released. This combination, NFP News plus fly Friday, gives more uncertainty because we cannot know what will happen until the end of the day. The NFP release impact could have influence on Monday, which could make problems for some or make good stuff for someone. Depends in which direction the market moves. If you have open trades over the weekend and market moves fast in your direction, you will be happy. But those who are on the opposite side will not be so happy. So one conclusion we can make here is that NFP on Friday, when the trading week ends, should be traded carefully or being more smart to avoid trade NFP. So NFP week is the week when the non-farm payroll is published and when the market is waiting for Friday to see the results. The one day that is most important that week is the NFP Friday at 8.30 am East time and 12.30 pm GMT winter time. But what you can see in NFP week is that there are lots of other information regarding NFP like ADP, NFP change, revised non-farm product productivity, manufacturing PMI, unemployment claims. The NFP week is full of data that affects the markets. Sometimes those news have more impact and sometimes less impact. So NFP week with high impact. The data with high impact are in red color, which means the data will have an impact on the markets more than other data. The red colored impact you can see here on the Forex factory portal, which is one of the best portals with necessary data about NFP or other related market data. NFP week with a low impact. You can see here yellow and orange color, color data which have less impact on the market. That data will not move the price of any currency pair in any direction, but it is good to know the data if you are using economic data in your fundamental analysis. Non-farm payroll news release shows the opinion of others how they see the NFP results and how the results will impact the market. During NFP week you will see lots of news publishing, NFP predictions and discussing details for the previous month. Here you can see news on the Forest Factory portal specifically for NFP data. It is located right below the NFP red impact window, so you can easily see what others have to say regarding non-farm payroll that week. So how do you find NFP news? Here are more non-farm payroll news released where we can see what others have to say. You have FX Street NFP news. You have CNBC non-far payroll news and you have for example investing.com NFP news. You should use these opinions and news with grain of salt because all market analysts have their opinion which sometimes is not a good one. You should see what is good and what's not. And how to distinguish what's good and what's not. 
pick some of the authors and see how he analyzed the NFP data released before. If you see a pattern that the analyst predicts correct movement of the market, you could take his opinion as irrelevant. If you find an author that does not publish his opinion regularly on NFP topics, or his opinions are all the time on the wrong side of the NFP results, it would be wise to remove that author from the reading list. Let me show you non-farm payroll historical data, where you have a year data contained on the graph. You can see non-farm payroll historical data per each month and above each column you have a number in thousands. Last month's change was from 481,000 to 678,000. Non-farm payroll one-year history shows us average change of 556,000 looking from March 2021 to March 2022. The two-year non-farm payroll historical data you can see here on the graph where April in 2020 was the worst year with negative results because of COVID virus. If I remove 2020 year with large negative data, you can see the previous 10 years how the NFP data fluctuated. You can see the non-farm payroll historical data was positive for the US market. Once in a while there was a negative result for the US market. A conclusion from the historical graph is that the US market in the last year before the COVID virus was in a good shape. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe. See you next time on the next video where I will show you about more details about NFP trading.